Welcome! We're making the classic Roman carbonara recipe. One of my favorite restaurants always makes me the rigatoni carbonara. You can find it in Rome, both spaghetti, rigatoni. Today I wanted to use rigatoni. I've never showed you before. This shape is one of my favorite. I'm using rigatoni from Gragnano. It's the city of pasta in the region of Campania. Why is it so good? Because it's rough on the surface. It's been slow dried, bronze dyed, meaning it extruded through bronze dye, which leaves it a nice dry surface. And it uses the methods like all natural ways with wind and sun, which makes it dry at very low temperatures and it retains all the goodies that a real pasta should have. Today I'm cooking for someone I love, so I'm doing two people's portion. So I'm using about 250 grams of pasta, one egg yolk per person and one whole extra egg, we say for the pot. Then we have fresh peppercorns, which are going to be ground right on the spot. I'm using about 100 grams of guanciale. It's always good to have a little extra, because you know, you can use it for decoration, it's just flavorful. We're going to be cutting it in strips of about half an inch wide. Pecorino Romano, the one and only that should be used for this classic recipe. And I'm using about 60 grams for two people. So let's just get into the thick of it. What do we do first? We start with our pasta water, and for this, I am using la 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 la, Caterina, the most gorgeous and the queen of my pasta queen collection. We are putting the water in, we're letting it boil, and now we get going with the recipe. Now, once the pasta water is boiling, the first step we're gonna be doing is taking Stella, my serving pan, frying pan, and we're going to prepare the guanciale. So we got the guanciale. Now it's the time to toss the guanciale in your serving pan, Stella, and let's get it sizzling. Interesting fact, in the carbonara, absolutely no cream and no oil. We're using the fat released when the guanciale is being cooked to make our sauce. While the guanciale is sizzling, let's go on to our next key step. What you wanna do is grab Pinuccia, the chef pan. Unlittle her. That's what you gotta do, unlittle her. Then we're going to be using Pinuccia as a bowl to make our creamy egg and cheese and pepper sauce off the fire. One of the secrets of making the best creamy sauce is to grate your pecorino on the finest setting of your grater. And then go at it gently. You're creating the magic right here. If you grate it too thick, it's not gonna melt. But this, you see, it's like pecorino fairy dust. Guanciale is ready, switch it off, let the pan cool down while you continue creating your sauce and the pasta is boiling. What you wanna do is by the time the pasta is ready, you wanna have this cool down so that you can mix it all together in a pan that it's not boiling hot and definitely off the fire. For this, I'm starting with the egg yolks and I'm separating them very simply by using the eggshell, tossing it in. So one egg yolk per person and then a whole egg. The pot is taking the egg and using it because also the pot needs to eat carbonara. 
The key now is to whisk it all together until it's nice and creamy. Now that we are pretty much ready, it's the time to salt your pasta water and toss the pasta. Why did I wait? I wanted to wait a little bit because I wanted to give the time for the pan to not be sizzling hot. So I'm tossing the pasta in as I'm getting ready to complete my creamy sauce. That way it all comes together into a magnificent expression of beauty, just like you are. Pasta water is boiling and that's when we salt it. Guys, now let's grab our pasta. It's boiling, it has been salted. This is your time to toss the pasta into the boiling water. Now what do we do? We are grabbing some of the fat released with a bunch of guanciale and we're tossing it into our little creamy sauce. The fat will help us create the classic carbonara creaminess. Let me show you, you don't need cream, you make it. You see, this is the way the carbonara is made. The fats, the cheese, the egg and the bacon all together make this creaminess delight. Pasta is done, you want it al dente. What does that mean? That when you bite into it, there's a little line, you see, of uncooked, that still shows a little bit of crunchiness. You don't want to overcook your pasta, never. It's way more digestible, just like this. Mm. Pasta goes in, in stella. You toss the pasta right into this pan. It's nice and wet, still got some water. It doesn't matter. You want a little bit of water. You can either pick the insert up and toss it right in or take your pasta out. However, the insert helps you retain the pasta water, which you want to be able to use in this sauce. Let me show you how. We're scooping all of the beautiful cream out and adding it to the pasta. Now, the most crucial point, once you've got your sauce in, take your ladle, you've got your pasta water, which is full of starches. The starches will help you create the ultimate creamy carbonara. What we do, do a paraf a cup, and we put it in. This is where the magic happens. You want to mix it all together. Now the pan is warm, but not hot. And you're finishing with the heat of the pasta that has just been tossed in. That's how you make your carbonara super creamy. Everything helped. The pasta, water, the fats, the cheese, they all come together and create the ultimate creaminess. You don't need to add anything extra other than your passion. <sighs> so beautiful. Okay, I'm adding some extra crunchy guanciale bacon for the top. You've got Stella, you've got your carbonara, it's creamy, it's magical. With carbonara, you wanna serve it right away. There's no time for chit-chatting, doing the laundry, going to the bathroom. You're gonna have to top it off with a scrunch, abundant scrunch of pepper all around, just like this. You see? And you've got Stella presenting it to you in all of its glory you're gonna make anybody fall in love with you. And this is what I call just gorgeous. <sighs> and there you have it, the classic Roman carbonara. 
Guys, this is one of my favorite recipes. I want you guys to recreate it. Send me stories on my Instagram. I always love receiving your version and your remake of my recipes. I love you guys so much. Stay gorgeous.